uh, I feel doesn't represent me or most other non-believers that I know and talk to, and it could just be the people that I surround myself with, um, but it feels like, almost like you're strawmanning the opposition. All right, well, if you would get to the point that you think I'm strawmanning. Because uh, I don't want to do that. Tell me what I am. Yeah, strawmanning. Uh, so, uh, most of the talk. Well, you got to give me a specific, give me what uh, argument you think yeah, is a okay. strawman. Um, uh, so, for instance, uh, the claim, atheist claim that something, uh, something causes nothing, Something caused nothing, and now there's something. Not nothing caused something. Yeah, yeah. nothing. Okay. Nothing caused nothing, yeah. and, no, and now there's something. Yeah. Um, and then you created a, what I believe to be a false dichotomy, um, uh, and then obviously the more reason, the more rational, the more reasonable one is the second one. But it's a fault. But you don't. Lawrence Krauss, who's an atheist, as yes. you know, says that. No, no one created something out of nothing, that the universe came into existence out of nothing. Now, it turns out his nothing is something, as you know. In fact, Lawrence Krauss admits that his nothing isn't really non-being. It's something. It's a quantum vacuum, which begs the question, where did the quantum vacuum come from? Well, what's huh? What's that? Uh, can, can you give me an example of nothing? Absolutely nothing. nothing. Well, absolutely. Is, it, is, is it possible for absolutely nothing to exist? Sure. Like, like if, if I, I say... say is it? Like, but if, if, if absolutely nothing exists, then it exists, and it's no, no, not nothing. Hold, hold, hold on, let me, let me answer the question there, Luke. If, if I, I say I had nothing, nothing for lunch today, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean I ate something called nothing. Yes. It, it means I didn't, I didn't have lunch today. today. Yes. So, so nothing doesn't have being itself, it's yes. non-being. Yes. And so... Do we have examples of nothing? In terms of space, yeah. there's no individual examples of non-being. Yeah. Because, because it's the absence, absence of being. Yes. You get that. Okay, so there's, yeah. there's no particulars of so nothing. But, but what's the, what's the um, demonstration that there ever was not something? Well, the very fact that the universe had a beginning is one demonstration. Our local presentation of the universe had a beginning. That space, matter, and time had a beginning, as even the atheists are admitting, okay? Well, our local presentation of the universe looks to have a beginning. I think that um, some... There are people who make very wild assertions um, that, like the, the, the um, people who say that uh, the that definitively the big the Big Bang was the beginning of everything. It, that's even atheists are admitting that. What, what I'm what, what I'm saying is that's uh, that that is uh, as as far as we know fallacious. What we what we know is that. There is a point at which we can't know anything about, like we can calculate. All right, Luke, let me ask you a question. Yes. If space, matter, and time had a beginning, okay. what caused it? If space, matter, and time had a beginning, something caused it. Okay, so what would that something have to be? It couldn't be made of space, matter, and time because space, matter, and time didn't exist. Obviously. Okay, so. How is it illicit to say that whatever caused space, matter, and time must be spaceless, timeless, immaterial, because it's, it's assuming powerful? That it's, a, it's, a, it's assuming that there was a beginning. Well, that's what I said. If it had a beginning, yes, if it had you're a beginning, admitting. But that is an assertion. I, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I, I, I have, I have so I, my apologies. I'm not saying that I know that the universe had a beginning. Just most atheists are admitting to it. Sure. Okay. For, for what reason? reason? Because there's good reason to believe. So I didn't have time to go there's, through it. There's, there's, there's reason to believe that our local presentation of the universe had a... Had, there's a point at which, in our local presentation of the universe, uh, the way Look, our physics well, let me, works... Let me, let me ask you a question. Yes. Okay, your local presentation, whatever that yes. means. Why are you resisting, obviously, the... A very logical deduction from the evidence. Why would you? Why wouldn't you say, "Well, sure, possible that that's the case." In fact, it seems reasonable that if space, matter, and time had a beginning, the cause must be spaceless, timeless, immaterial. Because it's, powerful. because because that's it's very intuitive, and intuition is very useful uh, in our day-to-day -day lives. Um, but we didn't discover quantum fluctuations by using our intuition. In fact, our intuition says that quantum quantum fluctuations aren't a thing. Okay, what does quantum fluctuations have to uh, do with particles. the... Virtual particles. What's that? Vir vir virtual particles that we don't Wh quite whatever. understand. Whatever. Virtual particles yes. still, still had a beginning. They're not because... intuitive. Well, no, no, no. They're not intuitive. Okay, but it's, it's not just the intuition we're dealing with. We're dealing with sense data. 
Whether, whether it's intuitive or not, we're dealing with sense data, and the sense data shows well, okay. us... Sense data, sense data told us for, uh, thousands of, for thousands of years that uh, the sun rotated around the Earth. In, oh, intuition, okay. is, intuition is not perfect. That's, I'm not saying that there's no use to intuition. I'm saying that relying solely on intuition is it's, such a... We're not relying solely on intuition. In fact, if you go to Alexander Vilenkin, the guy I mentioned earlier, about six or seven years ago, he went to Stephen Hawking's 70th birthday party. Yeah and he gave a paper. I'm sure Hawking was expecting a present, but instead he got a paper, right? Sit down and listen to the paper I'm gonna read. You can read about this paper in a journal. And this guy is an agnostic, said, all the evidence we have to this point shows that space, matter, and time had a beginning out of nothing, okay? Now, if you wanna resist that, that's fine, okay? Yeah. All well, I, I mean, can do is present you. Just because he says it doesn't make you, it true. Just because, it, yeah. Fine, you, you have, have to make, make the decision for yourself, yourself Luke. If, 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 if you don't want to follow the evidence there, that's your call. God gives us all free will. You don't want to follow it there, that's just fine, no problem. But if you're going to come up with caveats and go with local presentation, all these things, fine, you can do that. Well, no, I mean, it's, it's not caveat. Well, okay, I guess they are caveats. Yes, but they yes. Are ca yes. They are caveats for a reason because there are thing, there are a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of things that we don't know. That's true, but that doesn't mean that we, we don't, don't know some things yes. that point toward a beginning and therefore a beginner. Thank you for your question. We can talk more at the book table later. Thank you.